The following video has been Fat Boy approved. These are the shill free opinions of Fat Boy. Every product reviewed is bought and paid for by Fat Boy. Yeah, yeah. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome into Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews, and of course, you know who I am. I am Mr. Fat Boy, aka the realest man in Fragcom. A.K.A. the shill free man in Fragcom. A.K.A. the hardest working man in Fragcom, baby. I'll put in the work. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, come on in. Come on in. Hit the like and subscribe. Right there. Hit that like and subscribe. Join this fat boy family. We love to have you be a part of this thing that's just blowing up. We have crossed 300 for the month of April. What a month. What a crazy month we had. Amazing record-breaking month, and we keep breaking records. We broke one last month. Let's keep it going. This channel's growing, and I appreciate it so much. If you want to sample what we're about to go over, you know where you can sample that, baby. Fatboyfragrance.com. Fatboyfragrance.com, where the customer's always right, baby. Fatboyfragrance.com. Let's go. Brand new one product. New release, let's get all up it. And you know how we do it. No edits, no do-overs. I do one take, baby, and one take, and I always get it right. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews starts now. All right, we are back, and the fragrance we are discussing today is none other than Prada Luna Rosa Ocean Le Parfum. Now, I love the original Prada Luna Rosa right here. Absolutely love this fragrance. This is my second bottle of it, I think. I'm almost done with this one. Love the note of caramel in it. It's, it's just a stunner fragrance. It was voted, you know, as one of the best releases of the year a couple years ago. Amazing fragrance. Great Prada Luna Rosa line. Now, I only owned two. Prada Luna Rosa Black, which I don't have right now. And Prada Luna Rosa Extreme, which is a sadly discontinued gem of a fragrance. So, when I got, when I got Ocean, I was super impressed. I said, man... This is the everyday wear. This is a beautiful fragrance. This hits every note. So when they came out with uh, Ocean um, EDP, I was expecting to keep that vibe going. Well, kind of smells good. You know, I'm sorry. That's Ocean. I'm sorry. This is this is Ocean. This is Ocean EDP. Sorry. Let me spray that one. I had the wrong one. Man, it's just that's when it started to smell just like everything else out there. I feel like Prada Luna Rosa, the original, it was original, uh, ocean, it had a beautiful note of caramel, it's absolutely stunning fragrance, sweet note, that really worked really well. Now, the newest one is right here, here's a look at the box, uh, and, I and I got a bag with it too, a really cool bag, that's what I really like, and I also got uh, in the bottle, and here it is right here, good look at the bottle. It has a red kind of finish to it. If you compare it to the others, you can see the difference. You see these two right here. And then you look at that one. It's got more of a red finish to it. So cool design. like the way that looks. Also, a new thing here. When you, when you, if you're decanting like I am, when you take this one off, the, the first two, you have that spray you have to remove. And it is very difficult to decant out of these with using a syringe. Almost impossible. So I felt like I always had to use like a little sprayer or a funnel to make it work. Whereas with the new one, if I can get it off and show you, it just pops off and you have a regular spray on there, a regular decant um, sprayer. So that's really, really an easier thing for me, obviously. All right, so let's pull up a notes on this bad boy, but let's pull up a notes on all three and kind of give you a uh, rehash of all three of them, okay? All right, so here we go. So in the original, we had, which is Prada Luna Rosa Ocean, right here. We had uh, 
bergamot, pink pepper, uh, and some something called artemisia in the opening. Lavender, iris, sage, suede, and saffron in the middle. Bottom, you have musk, vetiver, and, hate, and caramel and patchouli. So this one had a sweet vibe to it. Very easy to wear. Almost a bluish, sweet, oceanic vibe this thing gave off. And an amazing fragrance, too. All right, so the second one that came out with the EDP um, had the notes like this. It had, um, it had grapefruit instead of lemon, and that was it in the opening. And you had woody notes, frankincense, hmm, hit or miss with that one, vanilla and uh, amber extreme on the bottom. So, the newest one has lemon as its opening zest, saffron in the middle, and the bottom you have that amber extreme and you have oak. And Amber Extreme, I don't know what it is. I'm not going to look it up, but it's really weird. It's almost like a chemical instead of like a real, you know, like a, like a natural fragrance. So, when we look at that, I can pretty much tell you right now that when I saw the notes, I knew that without the note of caramel, that this was going to be a different experience already from the original. But with the note uh, 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 of the Amber Extreme still in there, I thought we might get a vibe of this one, but my fear was we we're going to get more of this and nothing that's going to be different. So let's put it in the skin. Let's see what we get. And I'll, I'll give you my full review on this one. I bought mine at Macy's. You can pick yours up there right now. Don't expect these to get super cheap. If you wait about three months, you might get one for, you know, 20, 30 bucks off retail, but not huge savings. Let me put it in this skin. I already have put some on this one. I don't want to mess it up. So in the opening, it definitely is way more uplifting, way more bright, definitely not like something I already have, definitely feels different already when I got it on my skin. It, I get this sweet, peppery, kind of fresh vibe when I, when I spray it in the air. And that might be coming from the lemon. As you do pick up on the lemon, it is kind of like a, not like a sweet, sweet version lemon, but you get this lemon, the, the saffron, it definitely gives it a nice sweet opening. But what I love about this one is as you wear this fragrance, it becomes really, really nice, really aromatic, really envelops in the air. It really develops into this nice masculine, oaky kind of like saffron sweet fragrance that works and works amazing. Like people were going crazy when I wore this. They just loved the way it smelled. I took over rooms when I walked in wearing this thing. Oh, I do like the opening of this. It has that citrus bite. It has that saffron sweetness. But there is this nice little, hard to describe, almost incense, kind of like earthy tone it has. And the dry down that I love. It's almost like fresh clean in the opening with sweetness and then this nice oaky, kind of woodsy, ambery vibe at the end it really works for me it almost puts off this incense vibe i really like this fragrance it is what a fragrance should do it should give you this nice bright opening and a heavier you know dry down to where it kind of can find itself and, and let everything fall down i love the way this fragrance kind of went through the day for me because i felt when i sprayed it, it was uplifting and then when i kind of let it dry down it was like okay this is a serious fragrance right here. This is a nice fragrance. It ain't just like a normal designer fragrance. This is really well done. It's going to get a lot of hate from people. A lot of hate. Well, I'm here to tell you, don't believe all the hate all the time. These people are just looking to get clicks on their videos. So when they take Prada, Luna Rosa, and then they say they take uh, Invictus Parfum, and they say all oh, these new releases, they're all smell the same. Well, guess what? They might not smell the same to you. You might not have all these collections. You might not have every rendition of them. So it's not fair to them to say that in reality and just give you a straight up review on the fragrance. The only thing that this should be compared to is the three, three fragrances, the two fragrances that came to it, and that's it. This is a zesty lemon opening, but not too lemony, with a beautiful saffron bite to it. And it works really well. And it gives you this kind of incense, earthy, oaky, woody, dry down. That's beautiful. Masculine, appealing, sexy, sensual, amazing. All right. 
Let's find out. Let's go get some full seal approval and we'll get out of here. Originally, the original one got a hundred and million percent approval from me. Ocean did, no doubt. The El de Parfum was about a 70% approval. I think I, I, I don't remember correctly. I'll leave my, my links to my review on both of these when, when I when I when I post this video. So performance on this one. First of all, first impressions. I love this thing in the air, man. God. Love it in the air. Love it on my skin. Beautiful opening. It's a hundred percent full box on that one. Check that box fully. Performance, great. Great performing fragrance. When I say great, I'm talking about six to seven hours, easy. I mean, I sprayed this heavy on my, you go heavy on this one. Go 10 sprays if you want to. You won't offend anybody with it. All right, third box, does the wifey like it? Absolutely, did I get comments wearing this? I got like three or four. They just kept, this was, the comments kept coming out everywhere on this one. Women love the way this smells, no doubt. Full check on that. So, how much do I recommend this? Is this blind bottle worthy? Yes, it is. You should have this in your collection. One of the best releases this year. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean Line is back with this one, baby. They had a hiccup with EDP. They fixed it with Le Parfum. That's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all stay safe. And you know, I always tell you, baby, if you smell good, you're going to feel good. And it's going to be all good. Fatboy Fragrance Reviews is out.